I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Coffee. Not for you. The cops found my card in your wallet after you fainted, so I sent an extra driver to bring your car here. Good news and bad news. You've been our patient for more than 15 years. Nothing worked. Not only could we not find the cause of your headaches, we failed even to manage the pain. X-rays, tomography, whatever, showed nothing that would lead to the solution. However, last week I insisted you have a whole body tomography, which you never did before. Now, after I examined the whole body tomography results, I can definitely say I know what the problem is and I have a radical solution. The thing is, the last tomography showed you have a unique neurovascular pathology below the lumbar plexus, the nerve stem going up from your testicles, uh, yes, from your balls, passes through a wrong channel and gets pinched there and the same happens to the blood vessels going the same way. It is a pretty complicated case but in a word this results in the pinched nerve constantly sending SOS signals up to the brain and the brain registers these signals as pain. At the same time the clamped blood vessel is unable to deliver blood in sufficient amounts hence your faintings. And all that can be very easily dealt with. As I said, your pain will be gone forever. Well, that was the good news. Bad news is that it would come at a cost. Because of the unique character of the blood vessel and nerve stem entanglement, the only way to a final solution is surgical castration. What? Yes. I mean removing your balls. My boss? No. But it's up to you now. You must decide. The worst thing of all is that your condition aggravates with time. Today, you lost control while driving. You damaged another car and nearly hit a pedestrian. Your driving license will be cancelled for medical reasons. Your whole life will deteriorate pretty fast. Some areas of your brain are permanently oxygen starved. Plus, some areas are under fire nearly all the time from the pinched nerve. Imagine sitting in a room with a fire alarm going off 24-7. How long would you keep your sanity for? In simple words, Bart, you either have this surgery and enjoy your life as a healthy man, or if you choose to keep your precious balls, you will go down within a few years and it will be anything but a painless, peaceful death. Hi. Hi, sister. Hi, bro. How's it going? I haven't felt so good in 20 years. Oh, great. Let's go down somewhere. Sure, coffee. sure. Uh, but not today. Right, um, I'm going to the tailor. I want to buy a new suit. Why would you suddenly want a suit? It's my new life, okay? It's not in style. Or is it now? I've been casual for so many years. Say no word. It's my size. Twenty years in business. I 
na feira. Excellent. 20 years in business. You know what? What? You need shoes. How, how do you know my size? 20 years in business. How do you know? 20 years in business. Thank you for business, sir. Wait. A little gift. Underwear size 44. Ah, finally. You are wrong. My size is 42. I am sure. I am sure. I have used size 42 for 20 years. No. If you wear 42, your balls will be squeezed and you will have bad headaches. <laughs>